What is up, awesome tubers? Here to review another boring Raw. Stay tuned. WWE continues to shove Ronda Rousey down our throats. And I hate Ronda Rousey. She sucks. Hey, Drew, where are you at? Oh, there you are. I'm right here, man. It's Brothers of Talk, Talk Wrestling! Wrestling! We're reviewing Monday Night Raw Monday Night 4 Raw. 23 2018. And I'm here holding the title when wrestling used to be good. Yes. Uh, but, anyways, <laughs> well, wrestling starts out, or I should say, Monday Night Raw starts out with uh, with a remembrance for Bruno San Martino. Mm -hmm. He passed away. He yeah. was a uh, an old school wrestler, the second ever WWE champion. He holds the title for, for seven, seven years. years. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. You don't see people hold a title for that long. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Brock Lesnar's had it for a while, but hopefully he won't have it for seven years. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, uh, Brock Lesnar starts to show off with uh, the advocate Paul Heyman. Heyman. We're Paul Heyman guys. Yeah, we're Paul Heyman kind of guys. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. I'm a Paul Heyman kind of guy. But Paul Heyman comes out and talks his shit. And, uh, you know, Brock Lesnar sits there, and he jumps around and tries to act tough. Yeah. Then, of course, here comes Roman Reigns, you know, they're pushing this feud down their throat. Uh, this is building up more for the steel cage match at the greatest... Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Um, seven titles will be on the line, which that's kind of cool, but... Yeah. It just is kind of weird to me that they're having another Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Yeah, that is kind of weird, but, hey... Oh, and the information was misguided. Is that, I guess it's Undertaker versus Rusev. Rusev and But they Chris were saying Jericho. Jericho there for a minute. But it looks like Chris Jericho's added into to the, the uh, Greatest War Rumble. The Rumble, which yeah. I have no idea what happens when they win that. Maybe they yeah. get a title shot. Who knows? And then, of course, next they announced that since SmackDown had the 10 man's tag team match main event, they're doing a women's tag team main event. Which, I'm all for promoting the women matches, but if you're going to have a women's main event, at least put the title on it. Yeah. So we have a 10 women's tag team main event match, but that's later on. We'll talk about that more. The next match was uh, Elias versus Bobby Roode. I dislike Bobby Roode. My brother here is a Bobby Roode fan. Glorious, my friend. I say gloriously dumb. Gloriously amazing. I'm an Elias fan. I like what? Elias With too. But... Elias! But Elias ends up winning via pinfall because don't mess with Elias. Yes. Then we have the unlikely duo of Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, the two crazy motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, that's what their name should be. That's what their tag team name should be, the two crazy motherfuckers. Uh, versus the Ascension, which is a ripoff of the World Warriors. Yeah. But they're a smaller version of the mm -hmm. World Warriors. But they try their best. Yeah, they do uh, what they can. <laughs> But they ain't no war road warriors. They ain't no road warriors. They ain't no road warriors. Um, and Bray Wyatt and Mount Hardy get the victory over them, of course. Otherwise known as the the leader of worlds. Yeah. Their tag team name, which yes. is pretty. They're a pretty cool tag team. Yeah, you know, Mount cool. Hardy's life is annoying, but yeah. other than that. And then since uh, the Miz, the awesome one, recently went to SmackDown, we have a new show on Raw called the Sammy and Kevin Show. So the Sammy and Kevin show, okay, it places the Miz show, big whoop. Yeah. I mean, nothing that great, nothing that, same old shit, pretty much. I mean, this Raw was kind of boring. Yeah. <sighs> They're shoving the same old crap down our throats. But Kurt Angle was their special guest. Angle came out and announced that he pretty much was tired of their, their BS. He put him in a tag team match versus Lashley and Braun Strowman. Yeah. Uh, but that's later on. Uh, we need to talk some about Drew McIntyre returning. I think that is awesome. We that watched awesome. that guy 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and Vince McMahon uh, proclaimed him as a chosen one, and then he just disappeared. So I see him winning the title one day if yes. he sticks with it. But he is back. But him and Ziggler come out, and they squash the Titus brand in a tag team match. And it seems like they're building Drew McIntyre back up, which yep. is cool. And Ziggler's getting a little bit of a push because of it. Yeah. So, do you like Drew McIntyre? I love Drew McIntyre. The chosen one. The chosen one. The chosen one. <laughs> How do you feel about Jinder Mahal? I hate Jinder Mahal. <laughs> Fuck that guy. The modern day Haraja. Maharaja? <laughs> Wait. Well, uh, we have Jinder Mahal versus 
Chad Gable. Chad Gable. The new up-and-comer, which is only 5'8", which is the same height as me. I kind of like the dude. And he ends up beating Jinder Mahal and getting a good victory for himself. Then we have Rollins and Balor versus The Miz Taraj, which The Miz Taraj is trying to find their new identity because The Miz is gone. Uh, they tried joining Seth Rollins, and yeah. who else did they try joining? Um, Finn Balor. Yes. Yes. And uh, we're big Rollins fans. Yeah. We like Balor some, too. I mean, yeah, he's pretty good. He's okay. Uh, then, of course, the only other thing that really happened tonight was a 10 women's tag team match. Yeah. Like I said, this Raw, this Raw, nothing important really happened. I mean, yeah, the champion showed up, but he didn't do nothing, really. Uh, so, 10 women's tag team match. We have Mickey James, Alexa Bliss, your personal favorite. The uh, goddess. And, oh, and speaking of Alexa Bliss, she is getting her rematch at Backlash yeah. versus Nia Jax. Nia Jax. She will get her ass whooped. Uh, I don't Nia know. Nia Jax going to squash her. I don't know. I don't watch so anyways, uh, Mickey James, Alexa Bliss, the Riot Squad versus Bayley. Ember Moon, which I like Ember Moon. She's pretty cool. She reminds me kind of like a female boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman. I'm going to get you. Natalia and Sasha and Nia Jax were on that team. And then the match goes on. And, of course, who comes down? Ronda Rousey. Rousey. They're shoving Ronda Rousey down our throat. Mm -hmm. And I think it's pretty lame. But yeah. I don't get to make those kinds of decisions. So how do you feel about her ripping off, uh, you know, Roddy Piper's gimmick? Um, I think it's pretty damn stupid. Yeah, it's pretty And old. it's pissing me off. Pretty badly, actually. Yeah. Damn it, Vince McMahon, you and your damn money-making schemes and your damn bullshit. I agree. So Ronda Rousey comes out and interrupts the match because uh, she wants to help her friend Natalia out. Gets Mickey James in R bar and makes Mickey James tap out. So but she wasn't even in the match, so uh, she makes the match no contest. Uh, so this frog gets two thumbs down by us. <laughs> you could do better, WWE. Yes, better, do better. Hopefully SmackDown's better tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully SmackDown's entertaining. <sighs> Cause this belt spinning right here was more entertaining than Raw tonight. Yes. Look at that shiny. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and for all you Miz fans, the Miz. <laughs> Miz! Which at least you wouldn't like that. But. Yeah, no. But if you enjoyed our Raw review, please subscribe. Uh, we always welcome new people to the channel. And we do random videos. Uh, hopefully to be doing more uh, character skits soon. But I figured I'd go ahead and uh, review Raw tonight with my brother here. This has been Brothers of Talk Wrestling. And before we leave, we're going to answer one question by our fans. They want us to name our favorite wrestler and the wrestler we hate the most. So you go first. My favorite wrestler is Edge, and my least favorite wrestler is John Cena. Damn, that's the same as me. <laughs> <laughs>